Howdy folks from uh, Texas. Uh, this is a real treat to be here. I can't describe this to you in an uh, <laughs> adequate way because it's kind of like a miracle to me. Um, when I first started doing this music back in the early 80s, um, I had some friends that enjoyed it and actually tried to help get me to play live. And everybody in Houston, now I'm in Houston, okay? Um, <laughs> And we did have electronic music kind of thing there, but nothing like today. Uh, Houston has some uh, nice little uh, pocket of places to perform live, uh, not as neat as San Francisco. But uh, they, they would take my tapes to try to uh, get folks to let me play live, and they'd go, uh, boy, that, that sounds like headphone music. Uh, we, we don't play headphone music in clubs. <laughs> and remember, I'm from Tech. If I do, I'd get a real good draw there, don't you? But, uh, <laughs> so uh, I didn't play. I just made music and had fun with it and everything. Um, and actually, it's kind of interesting because I only created music for about 20 years from August uh, 79 through August 99. And I didn't stop for any particular reason, just played everything I wanted to play at the time. So in like 2005, some folks contacted me and says, are you the guy that did Wizard? And I said, sure. And I found out there were people listening to the music. Uh, a few years later, uh, a lady from Europe, Christelle Gowardi, a uh, fellow Home Source, her friend, Levin Martin, republished the Wizards in 2007. And uh, then she wanted to do a tour through the United States and asked if I would play on the program with her in Texas. <laughs> Well, let's see, I, I last played uh, live in the uh, fall of 82. <laughs> I, hadn't, I truly hadn't really created any music since uh, 99, August of 99. I said, sure. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I really uh, loved getting to do music. And it was kind of weird. It was, it was a nice push from the universe, I guess, uh, and to be able to get back into this. So, um, I've been very fortunate. I don't perform very often, even in, in Houston. I uh, probably 10, 15 times since I started doing it again with Christel. But uh, I've been very fortunate to do very unique things. I, I got to go to, to Europe for nine days, come here with you, y'all. Uh, this is awesome. I, I really mean that. I'm not trying to be nice. I, the group of the, the put this together, uh, San Francisco Electronic Music Organization, they're phenomenal. These are people that are musicians themselves and, and just love the stuff. And they're so supportive, and they've taken great care of us. Uh, so I hope when you see them with their tags on, you, you just say thank you. It's, it's just really special. Now, in the uh, early uh, 80s, I got into this thing with the using uh, a special type of synthesizer setup that was very, um, that I used to, my favorite music work was on it. And they were three sequential circuits, uh, Pro Ones with a Yamaha SK20, which was a, a polyphonic uh, type keyboard. Um, and this is kind of crazy because I went through, made all that music, and then <laughs> through not being able to get them repaired and stuff, they just kind of faded away. And I got into MIDI very heavily, and here I'm back again. And what I've done is I've recycled back to where I was back then because I don't use MIDI or, or computer. I try to make this as uh, live as possible. So what you're going to hear tonight, oh, and, and the, the keyboards, I, I researched this for a long time and discovered Dave Smith was the guy that created the Pro Ones. I'm going, okay. So I read about them and defiled these mono evolver keyboards. Now, I normally use three of those in either my uh, SK20 Yamaha, which is 1982 circa, or the um, Dave Smith Prophet uh, 08. And, uh, but I was, uh, I, I wouldn't truly have been able to do this had uh, they had not uh, gently twisted Dave Smith's arm to let me use these uh, keyboards here. Uh, so I'm very serious about that. Uh, and so, uh, uh, so these are fun keyboards are the closest I had to the uh, pro, old pro ones. And I'm fascinated by how, how much fun these are. So you're going to hear kind of a, a, a mixture of old and new stuff. And the old is, uh, going to be some tracks that I can't reproduce anymore because they were on the Pro Ones and they were so unique. Uh, but the new is going to be a, a mix of all that together. So I hope you enjoy the program. Thank you again for coming. <laughs> By the way, I'm 
the environmental sounds I use, the wind chimes I'm going to use tonight are from my backyard. Uh, and then there's a gentleman up in uh, uh, the Upper East Coast that made these beautiful ocean sounds. And then the wind actually is from one of these little guys. And what I want you to what I'm going to start off with is uh, I grew up on the ocean, uh, Galveston Bay and, and Gulf of Mexico. And I want you to imagine just kind of being out around. I, I bet a lot of you've done this did out somewhere with wind chimes and ocean sounds and, and wind blowing and, and just kind of beautiful sky, starlit sky. So this is kind of where we're going to start, I hope.
Right, JD told me to play all night. 